Welcome lads, we're back with another video. Today we are looking at 83 rated second international man of the match card, Malik. He's got 78 pace, 90 shooting, 78 passing, 80 dribbling and 82 physical. With 2 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, medium medium work rates, 6 foot 1. This guy's a scoring machine. There isn't anything this guy can't do when it comes to scoring goals. Yeah, he's not the greatest dribbler because of his lack of skill moves. And it's a real big disappointment. If he had 3 star skill moves, he'd be unstoppable. But apart from that, he's just such a good shooter of the ball. I mean, his long shots, close shots, finesse. You name it, the guy's going to score. He's quick enough. He's strong enough, and he can pass the ball. Very complete player. But now, let's move on to some in-game stats. Looking at his skill stats, he's got OK ball control at 80 with 89 curve, 80 dribbling, 92 finishing, 93 free kick accuracy, 86 heading accuracy, 93 shot power, and 86 long shots. Now, when we're looking at his physical stats, his attacking positioning is not the best, but it's not awful at 83 with 76 acceleration, 77 agility, 83 strength and 79 sprint speed the stats are great but the positioning can get a bit problematic definitely when you play this guy at a striker position because he's not always in the right position and it's it's quite disappointing let's not get away from the fact this is an amazing player for under thirty thousand coins but because of that it's just all these other stats aren't always working because he's always in the wrong position anyways let's move on to some highlights as we can see here, he picks the ball up and he's just going to be able to go by his man. And he's got a lot of strength on him that he's able to create chances every day of the week, frankly. And he's a really good shooter of the ball from long distance. And maybe if you're able to fit him into a team that plays him at the cam position, maybe with a Lewandowski, because of his positioning and his amazing long shots, you might get the best returns, him not playing striker. Because I do feel, and as you can see in all these clips... You know, I'm scoring goals, but there were too many times that playing in the formation that I played in, definitely with the one striker formation, that he was just always out of place. He just wasn't there. He wasn't making those great runs to get in behind to score. I'd have to look for him and find him. And obviously, once I found him, he was an amazing player. He's strong. He can shoot the ball right foot, left foot. It does not matter. His skill moves, once again, are a bit of an issue. But, you know, two-star skill moves, you've got the ball rolls, you've got the fake shots. You can do a thing or two to create that space. And he's quick and he's strong, so it's not an issue. The skill moves aren't the issue. The issue is, is his positioning. And if you play him at striker in a formation that only has one striker and a 4-3-3 up top, you're just going to have issues. But apart from that, really like the card, but I thought he had a few little issues to really not becoming an amazing card. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, follow me on Twitter, at FIFA Wisdom, and make sure you subscribe so you catch all my videos. And I'm out. Bye-bye.